felting key sticks. Tiny screwdriver, toothpick, paper, jacks, very sharp American made industrial razor blade. Inspect the holes for any residue, <clears throat> weak wood or leftover felt. Prop up, key stick, cut felts, two different sizes, the one at the end of the key stick is typically thinner. Glue onto the index card. Very thin layer of the PVC E glue from Howard Piano Industries. It will release if exposed to heat and moisture. You'll have to get these out someday, too. This is an inset belt. Comes up to the top into a chopped area in the wood. Both need glue. An old piano, this is a hundred years old, the wood's pretty dry, so be liberal with the glue, because it'll absorb into the wood quite a bit. You'll note that I'm gluing both of the holes at one time. This has a curvature because it was in a roll. You'll want to put it on the outside of the curve and tend to lay better. You must apply glue both to the wood and to the felt, or the felt will not glue, because the felt will absorb quite a bit of that glue. I lay it into place properly, push it into place with a screwdriver, the light screwdriver. I don't have any music playing, and if there's guests, they cannot talk. This work requires very, very careful concentration. Treat it such. Jack insertion.
pliers to move if I need to to accomplish the layout I want. Press down on the jack, bring the razor blade in. A sharp razor blade makes this work easy. If you have a dull razor blade, it can be very, very difficult to cut the fill. I always press the belt into position with the screwdriver. Jack insertion, line up check prior to cut. Lift the jack slightly, give you a clean cut. Lift the jack slightly up this way so that it gives me a press into the press down. A line onto the next key stick. <laughs> 